Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Tomba 2 The Evil Swine Return. On the last episode, we walked through the ranch summit, met with Kaiden a little bit, but then we quickly headed off, walked around the summit area a little bit longer, and then headed off to the Kudra Shed, or the Summit Shed, where Fam, the owner of the ranch, told us that he was trying to blow up a giant rock using electricity. <laughs> we know Pokemon, that doesn't, that doesn't usually work, but... We had to find three Kajaras scattered around the summit area and bring them back to him so that he could use the static electricity from the Kajaras to blow up the rock. But we did that, and then we uh, head back over to the boulder, blew up that rock, actually it worked, and got the evil ice pig bag from Fam. And now we are in the next area, the Kujara, or not the Kujara, the forest. I'm not going to say the full name of it just yet because we don't really know the full name of it just yet. But this is the area, right here, this is the second area where we can get snow fireflies in case we've missed them before. Surprisingly, we only missed one, I think. That doesn't make any sense. I thought we could get, like, 15 or something. I only have 11. Well, let's talk with this guy. This is the Donglin Forest. The evil pig's magic has scattered ghosts all over the place. Look, there's a ghost over there. He doesn't like the cold. If you cool it and bite it, it'll disappear. So, like I said, prepare to be spooked. The Donglin Forest is full of ghosts. And as you notice, that ghost is on fire, so luckily we have the perfect item to deal with fire. Take that! A monster's materialized! Now, what is that? So, Dongle Forest main area, right here. There's a little piece of purple fire over there, and it turned out to be just a skull. Oh, that's wonderful. Also, the entire floor is water, which is the exact same as lava in Toma's case, so do not touch the water. Head over here. I'm not gonna grab that food, because I might need it later. Spooky evil pig! Don't touch the evil pig, or don't let them touch you. I don't want to exactly explain why, because I have a feeling it's going to happen eventually. Get back over here! Oh. Come on, I need to grab you, stupid ghost. There we go. Like two buttons have appeared now. Get the, get the pig! So, if you allow these ghost pigs to grab you, because they will attack you by sending their hands up to get you, then something terrible will happen. We got another another purple smoke thing wandering around a blue fruit thing. So we we headed up because we already found two of the things. The Dunglin Forest is very high, and I mean I mean very tall. Oop, oop, oop. No, I want that blue thing. I need the blue thing for uh, for a reason that we are going to be dealing with in just a couple moments. Like this episode soon, in case instead of the. This is the trademark later that we've had for most of our responses in this game. No, I did it again! Oh, purple! Fine. I'll just go up from here. I don't think this will lower that blue fruit like the other side did. Will it? Nope, it's still sitting there. The other... The other... Where's the other... There, there we go. Blue fruit! Grabbing on this. Because we're gonna head over here to this door. There is the other guy. Oh, nope, nope, go away. Luckily for us, the ghost pigs just immediately disappear as soon as you hit them with anything. Alright. Get over here, ghost. Oh God, I remember when I was younger, and I, I definitely think now that I remember, I was not in middle school when I first beat this game. Oh, hello. I'm almost finished painting, but it's missing something. Of course, something blue, but the blue fruit is all gone. Just brought it. Oh, yes. That, that's 
the color I want. Thanks. You know what? Hee hee hee, I just had an inspiration. Really? What is it? Just watch. It will be a masterpiece. Hmm, splendid. So dynamic. So intense, it's perfect. Tomba, are you okay? Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry. I get so caught up in my paintings. Are you hurt? You're very kind. I was able to finish a fine painting. Thank you. Take this for your trouble. to the blue treasure chest. Are you sure this is okay? Positive. I'm not interested in treasures. Don't worry about it. Just take it. Hmm. What should I draw next? So, thank you, Mr. Blue. As you know, his, he has blue lights in his place. We had to get him blue fruit. And he has a weird taste of art because he just threw a toba against a canvas painting and called it art, I guess. But up here is a blue chest now that we have the ability to open a blue chest. Please don't be what I think it's going to be. Oh, thank God it isn't. It's just magic juice, which sounds weird. But when we actually ex go to it, uh, note, restores all magic power. What is magic power? It is the bar that has been on the bottom left every single time we bite a single enemy. Now, we haven't had the ability to use magic power because we don't have the capabilities to use the magic power just yet, but we will TM later. <laughs> but we have this giant monster down here that we have to go deal with now. We're gonna wait and deal with that later. We're actually gonna go up first because there's a couple more things that we can explore up here. We just need to get past the purple fire. Actually, you know what? I don't think we're gonna be ex able to explore one of the... No, we're not gonna be able to explore either. <laughs> we're not gonna be able to... Oh, we can at least see them. We can at least see what we're about to get head up to. No, let's let's keep our ice boomerang. That seems to be our best friend in this area. Jump over here. Let's land safely. There should be another ghost pig around here somewhere. Yep, there he is. So over here is a laughing door, which we can't really do much of because we don't have the able the capabilities to enter it. But you might say it says, which Mizuno's. Hidden House, which, now that I've actually played Tomba, isn't Mizuno the same witch that was in Tomba 1? So I guess there's another connection. Also, way over here, which I highly doubt we will be able to actually enter, there's a guy up here with what appears to be a cage full... Oh, balls, not this. No! Oh, yes! Get back here, Magic Wings! At least somebody can still grab him. I can. Thank God. Go away. Up there was a ch uh, was a, a cage with a snow firefly inside of it. So, just like what happened in Tomba 1 with the leaf butterflies, we gotta give that guy all our snow fireflies, which currently we have, what, 11? 12? 11. We need a lot more than that, though. But, let's finally go deal with this guy. Hello. So, you notice, he has a long tongue, and he spits out. He has, like, a little head at the, in at the end of his tongue. We're gonna switch to our hammer here. Come on. And we're gonna hit the end with the with our hammer. We're just gonna stand here again. We did it again. Oh, I missed. He backed up. Ooh, that one was a that one over hit us, so we were still down there. Also, one of the fires went out because we hit him. Oh god, now we got this pig to deal with. Take that! Stupid bouncy floor. Got it! Tomba, this is the dongling bell. People say the bell can get you back to the place where you started. But this bell, you will surely get back to the dongling forest. 
Mãe. This pig is going to attack me. So, we just got... No, don't attack me! No! <laughs> that was too close. I don't want that to happen just yet. So, we got the Donglin Bell, which, if you remember in Tumble 1, once again, there were bells in that game, and whenever you rang them, we could go to a certain spot. Although, in that in that game, the bells were correlated to the 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 old guys, the 100-year-old man, 1,000, 10,000, million. In this game, they're... they're Correlated to places. So this Dongla Bell, whenever we ring it, will bring us exactly to the place where we are currently standing. There are, I think, there's another bell that I know of. There's two bells. There's two more bells in this game. One we can go get right now, and another one that we have to wait to get. But we'll save that one that we can get now for TM later. And this is going to be a very short episode because we're already done with the main area. We'll just head off to the next area. Let's just do this thicket. Oh, God, music. Well, first off, look at this thing. Wow, this stone image almost looks alive. There's a message carved into the stone. I disobeyed the evil pig, Baron. I rest here, turn to stone. Evil pig turned him to stone. Can't we do something to turn it back? What about it, Tomba? He's a friend of Tomba. All the more reason to help him. Can't we turn him back somehow? How Baron up here? So that's Baron, our best friend from Tomba One. The one that allowed us to fly anywhere because of his giant ears. Look at him, he's all grown up now, and he's turned to stone. So we need to find a way to revive him. Luckily, we, uh, unfortunately, we can't do that yet. We need to wait for... God, everything is TM later. So, here is the... Oh god, this area. This is the Laughing Crying Forest. And we are going to save the game here. So... I don't have any other spaces to save. I gotta start overriding old games. Oh, that's unfortunate. I, I should have the ability to, but I think I only have a, a couple spaces on my memory card to, to give away. So I have 28 out of 43. Compared to 25 out of 39. So we found, what, four and we gained three. So we almost went net zero this episode. We did gain about 10,000 AP points. Yeah. And that, yeah, that was only... 13 minutes. So, on the next episode of Tomba 2, The Evil Swine Return. Oh, God. Uh, we will be walking through the Laughing Crying Forest, trying to make our way through this area in one piece. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. And that's exactly what happened. Ooh, chest over there. So, that's where that door takes us. Oh, okay. Let's just jump down and grab this chest. Let's avoid the pig that jumps out of the plants first. Granted, we don't need any more of this red experience, I guess. It doesn't look red. It looks more pink. Apparently, they call it red experience, though. Oh, hello! <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even see you. All right, well, 